Welcome back to the show. Mr. Rowland had to step away for a moment. You know, I don't think he actually had to step away. I think he wants to look at your kitchen. He was fascinated by it. Well, it's a large Victorian kitchen. You don't see those too often. What's with the jewel? It's green now. Yes, I seem to have misplaced my red one. Uh, well, I don't think she did it because she's been busy with this, this hideous thing on her lap. She's very creative. She is. Anyways, let's get to mail, and then uh, we'll get back to the movie first. But he's got a bunch of mail for us, so let's have a look, shall we? First one. Post. Is from uh, Moon and Anne. Is that right? Moon? Moon. Moon. In uh, Concord, California. Oh, this is nice. It's a card. Oh, it's beautiful. It's the fog. It's not actual fog. It's a card that shows the movie from the fog. All right. Oh, my goodness. This is a long letter. I'm going to read quickly. She goes, it is a she, right, Moon? I am going to assume so. I, I don't know any men named Moon. Greetings and salutations to the trio of Terra. That's us. Mom and I enjoyed seeing you at Creatures Con several weeks ago. Also a big shout out to Mr. Livingston giving up his chair to my mom. I'm, I'm surprised he was even sitting. I've been contemplating setting up a GoFund account to raise monies in the hopes of better viewing selections. What's wrong, Moon? You don't like our films? We do. We love the guests and the mail segment and that mischievous war Tangella and a hideous baby. Moon and Anne from Concord, California. Well, thank you so much for the kind notes. Uh, don't bother with the GoFundMe because, you know, even if we got better films, it, we could only show them once and we want to show them like 20 times, right? And put them on YouTube. So we'll get better ones. You'll see. What else you got, Mr. Livingston? We have a package. A, it's a large package. Indeed. Oh, my goodness. There's all kinds of stuff. All right. I shall read the letter first. Indeed. All right. All right. Here we go. Oh, this. Uh, you know, I'm not going to be able to read this whole thing. So I'm going to only read the good parts. It's from Eddie Costa in Auburn, California. You got a lot of California mail tonight, right? All right. Dear Creature Features, I've recently been collecting driftwood for art projects when I came across this piece that looked like a hand being injured by your show of uh, being injured being injured by your show oh inspired I have trouble reading this type of writing it's, it's like it's my eyes have been atrophied I've been inspired by your show I carved and painted this piece I love your new take on the show and thought you would enjoy this me and my wife watch the show just about every Saturday night on YouTube. Love, Eddie Costa. P.S. I've sent the fabric paint to make it. Oh, I see. Now he wants us to send him a shirt, but we, we're going to have a surprise for you instead. All right, let's see what he sent us. This is interesting. All right, first off, we've got one piece of wood with writing on the back. Very nice. It's like a mm. gift. And then we've got really, sir. A hand. Look, it's a hand. Looks familiar. I did look at this before, so I know what to do. And wait, there's more. Look at this. Well, if I did it correctly, it would go like this. Oh, it's like the intro. Isn't that wonderful? That's ingenious, Ed. So um, he requested uh, a shirt. We're going to send you a hat. We're all going to sign it with the paint that you sent. So uh, thank you. This is amazing. We love it. Right? You love it too? Indeed. Livingston tolerates it. All right. Last letter. Uh, two more. Two more letters. Emails, actually. All right. Emails. This is from uh, Donald Quimby in Roanoke, Virginia. And he says, uh, Dear Creature Features, your show is so bad, I'd rather wipe my face with a cactus branch than endure another stupid episode. I'd rather give myself a thousand paper cuts and take a dip in a vat of rubbing alcohol than look at you in your limey face again. You called me a limey. Full things. I'd rather bang myself over the head with a ball-peen hammer than have to hear that smart Alec Butler complain anymore. 
And finally, I'd rather clip my toenails with a chainsaw than to have to see that mop-headed girl make faces at the camera again. Yours truly, Donald Quimby. Thanks for the note, Donald. That's it? No, nope. one, one more. more. All right. This next one is also from Roanoke, Virginia. That's a coincidence. This one is from Brenda Quimby. Oh, it's Brenda Quimby? They must be related. Uh, Dear Creature Features, please ignore the previous letter. My husband had had a bad day when he wrote it and had also neglected to take his Prozac that morning. Yours truly, Brenda Quimby. All right. Well, that's a wash, right? Seem to be. All right. That's it for letters. If you'd like to send us a letter, use the email address you see appearing under my shoe. Or if you'd like to send us some wonderful craft you created yourself, like Eddie, send it to the address you see appearing down here. We'll be right back with Gray Rollin, but first we're going to get back to Hercules against the Moon Men. Stay with us. Aaron Trina Valentina from San Francisco, California. I'm so glad Creature Feature is going on and on and on and on. Me and my mom used to watch that and watching it right now. Wow, I'm impressed. 